So these two mounds are what are called the Hugel cultures. Um, they were made about eight years ago um, by digging a shallow trench and burying a bunch of logs and sticks and other large, coarse, organic material, um, carbon-rich material, and then covering it with a thin layer of soil and then a lot of composts, various um, manures and mulches, and then planting into them. So these are, um, you know, around eight years old and we have been capping them with manure and leaves to add more nutrients and organic matter every year um, in the fall and then they sit in the winter and then in the spring and summer we plant them out. And these two right here are a part of the children's garden which is a perennial herb garden and um, kind of an orchard as well. So these particular hugel cultures are planted out with the three sisters um, so it's an annual production. These are annual production beds. Um, we have other hugel cultures on this um, property which are more of like a hybrid you know with perennials and annuals um, and we're trying to really establish those as you know permanent. Um, so in the forest garden there's a large hugel culture which is a um, you know it's planted out with perennials um, a layered polyculture of perennials so there's you know trees uh, shrubs and ground covers which are permanently stabilizing the hugel culture um, whereas these ones are sort of reset every year with a new layer of manure and mulches um, and then replanted with annuals in the summer so wait so explain what you're doing these two Google mounds and we're gonna try and increase the organic matter and add to them. So we're adding a bunch of leaves from around campus and from nearby to go fill them and then we're gonna add manure on top and kind of let it sit for winter. So it'll sink down but like let's kind of start fresh and see how it looks in the spring. And then what are you gonna plant in the spring? Three sisters. Okay, we're gonna do corn, bean, and squash which is what we did last year. But there's also yarrow that kind of is popping up naturally. Um, Cool. We're ready to add manure. 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 You want to come ride with me? Okay.
Just like explain one more time what we did. Yeah. So these are two Kugel culture mounds that we've been building every year. And we added leaves, both from on campus and from a local source, leaves and pine needles. Um, and we use those leaves as a base layer to add like carbon, good nutrients. Leaves are great, they break down. Worms love them. Uh, and then we added manure from the barn um, and hay and straw and all those things from the barn. And we'll kind of see what these look like uh, after the winter, they'll sink down, maybe add more manure, maybe add wood chips. So, and all from on site from campus um, and locally, like from across the street from a neighbor. But all this manure is from here. So it's using what would normally be like a waste byproduct to add nutrients and help our plants grow. And then next summer through fall, we'll have corn, bean, and squash growing here so that um, we can learn from those plants and think about kind of traditional Native American plantings. Yeah, corn, bean, squash is the three sisters. Yeah, um, sisters, companion plants. They work together. Yeah, it should be good. Cool. Yeah, we did it last year, but this is like we're improving it every year, so. Yeah, looks Building good. Soil, planting more things.